Hello everybody, so Shaziz here. I uh, tried to uh, film this thing right here, but apparently that thing there puts off enough static to freak this thing out, and that thing puts off enough static to freak it out even more. With all the capacitors discharging and the spark gaps discharging, uh, it's kind of hard to get one uh, video uh, on this camera here, so I'll have to wait till I get the doggone thing off in a different room and a camera that I can zoom from a distance. <laughs> anyway, what's going on is I got a ground wire that goes out to the ground right there. It comes down right over here into a uh, spark, the spark, first spark gap into this Mallory capacitor. I don't remember what the farad range is on there, but I almost killed myself with it today. Anyway, that comes out from this right here, right straight down into a multi-spark gap that goes out to several capacitors. Uh, this is basically uh, aluminum... Uh, Aluminum sheeting like this inside uh, the container and outside the container. Real easy capacitor to make and they're powerful as heck and they will shock the crowd out of you. And so I made some other ones out of uh, some brown tubes that I found uh, off of some old, uh, oh doggone it. Uh, off of some old um, outside uh, Dad, burn it! Uh, solar lighting. Huh. Took that a while to get that out. Anyway, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five of those. And that one there was an old uh, jar that had um, icing, cake icing in it. Plastic. Use that. And, of course, I got this glass one right here that is pretty much made the same way. But uh, it has aluminum tape on the outside and the uh, metal aluminum on the inside. It has a multi-layer disc right here with the same aluminum uh, separated by plastic and then styrofoam. There's two discs then uh, another plastic that's styrofoam so on up and down. I don't remember how many layers I've got there. Let's see if I can get in close enough. Anyway, it's on a uh, steel shaft that goes up the rotor is stainless steel and it has inside there it has a little piece of carbon rod and a BB for a bearing and then I have one steel rod with a steel ball on there one copper rod with a steel ball and then one aluminum rod with a copper cap at the end of it. There's uh, two sets of each of those. And then this ring, uh, this has a ne uh, neon uh, bulb inside there, which is a uh, tightly wound coil of uh, wire coming all the way down through there and then coming out right down here. There's the other end of the coil wire. And then the same thing through a neon bulb and then another coil wire all the way up through back to the other side and so I'll try to put a little clip of that running in there I'll we'll stop this one to make sure I get that uh, that going on and so basically what happens is you get a static discharge out of each one of these right here the pressure bumps it over to the next one and so on and so forth and the spark gap you adjust the timing by the distance of the spark gap uh, shorter a little bit wider a little bit wider and so on up up the line so that they're they're not charging at the same exact rate and it's kind of hard to get it timed out so um, I had it running for about five minutes and then messed with one wire and that was all it took to get it out of whack again and it does have torque it, it's a self starter as soon as the first uh, lightning bolt hits it, pow, it bumps it over and so on and so forth. And actually had it running pretty doggone good. Shocked the crud out of myself in the last two weeks tinkering with this dang thing and uh, modifying it. So when I do finally get it uh, up to standard and fired up again, I will uh, make a video so you can see it running uh, from start to finish this wire right here which I was trying to explain in the other fuzzy portion of the video 
I put on there to hold this capacitor back some because in the process of this thing running every time it discharges across it charges that that uh, capacitor up rapidly all these capacitors down here are seven of them in total all of them charge up rapidly and so this thing gets so powerful I reached down and grabbed a hold of that wire trying to adjust something at the wrong time when that thing pulsed and about killed me wasn't comfortable at all so anyway I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek, peek of that I'll see if I can get a good overview of it down there so you can see what's going on um, the capacitors are running series with each one of these down to their own separate spark gap that one's got its own spark gap that one has its own spark gap so on and so forth all of them have their own spark gap so there's uh, six total probes right there that uh, when they fire and one of the problems that I have that I have to work on is that if you see where that blue mark is right there I don't know if you can see that or not being lights in the way that blue mark this side right here sticks out farther than that side so I gotta redo this uh, rotor right here to get it perfectly balanced so that I can get each one of these exactly uh, the same distance apart from each other so that they'll fire continuously and um, when I had it where it was all wobbly and everything um, I actually got this thing to run for five minutes and it was all running off of that uh, one mark coming off the Van de Graaff and the one ground wire so you know I know that it'll function like it's supposed to alright well I'll stop this video and then I'll turn it on and see if I can get uh, see if I can uh, get it to do anything without messing the camera up stay tuned peace and love Thank <laughs> you.